Short way to success, find your mentor. Who is your mentor? Short way to success, find your mentor. Who is your mentor? Hi guys, Mike Ketluari speaking from Uncensored Truth channel. Today's topic is very, very important. I really want to share this because it's truly something which is probably lost in many places, in many ministries. And I feel strongly about this topic because it's like, uh, it's relevant to our life. And we experience it in our lives. When I say we, I'm referring to my wife and I. Personally, we experience the impact that this truth has in our life. And I'm glad that a great man of God, which I now call my spiritual father, even wrote a book about this. Okay? And that man is not other than Prophet Jerome Fernando. Prophet Jerome, uh, Jerome Fernando. He wrote a very powerful book, which I finished reading a couple of days ago. The book title is The Lost Revelation of the Spiritual Father. The book title is the lost revelation of the spiritual father amazing book as i was reading this book and i was referring back to our life and i'm also glad that my first book that i've written so far and the only book so far but even this book that i've written uncensored truth about money most of the revelations and the stories here are always related to our spiritual father back then it's like a, it's like a seven years journey and how God rescue us through a radical man of God, right? Back then, and uh, from from being in a financial curse with credit card debts, don't know what to do, and God rescue us and uh, not only settle the debts, but we started thriving financially. Why? Because for seven years, we followed a spiritual father. Okay? No, not just, okay, this is the deal, this is the deal. I know this will make mad some of you guys, but hey, who cares, right? <laughs> the truth be told, no matter how, right? Some people will get offended, some people will like it, so what? The point is, let the truth be told. And you see, even for our own lives, for Olivia and I, right? Yes, after uh, 2003, after we got saved, yes, we were part of nice churches, big churches. Uh, yes, the ministry looks successful. But again, when you looked around and you see what's happening in people's lives, then you notice that most of them are lost. It's like the lost sheep, you know. Most of them are lost. They don't know the basic truths, how to live life according to the Bible. That's when the spiritual father comes in. Super important, super important. All right. I mean, the natural world calls it a mentor out there, right? A mentor relation. Oh, you want you want a short way to success? Find a mentor. Everyone in the world says the same thing. Short way to success? Find your mentor. Who is your mentor? If, if the world believes in a mentor, don't you think God also believes in a mentor? In a spiritual father relationship? So this book was amazing. Uh, how uh, Prophet Jerome Fernando explains his own journey when he started the ministry like 25 years ago and how the ministry started growing to a certain level but the moment he nailed it when there was this hunger in him to find his second spiritual father right because his first journey was uh, his uncle was his spiritual father and after that when he, when he looked for prophet Hubert Angel after that he said his total ministry his life was wow another level and I can I can really, really relate to that. I really can relate to that. Because that's how it happened to us. All right? Yes, we were churchgoers. Uh, yes, we were serving. We were doing those things that normal Christians will do. But man, wow, the moment we hooked to the man of God, I tell you, man, our life was a complete radical change for better. All right? It's amazing. It's amazing what you can achieve when you have the right spiritual father to guide you all right because people normally end up in these situations that oh because i'm i'm oh yeah i'm, I'm in a church i'm part of this church and that church so yes you can be part of church and yet 
you might not have a spiritual father. And sometimes the answers that you need in life does not come from the church organization per se. Forgive me for saying that. I mean, I have so many occasions last time when I was facing some challenges, personal challenges, uh, family challenges. Uh, I can't say certain things right now, but uh, guess what? I go to a typical church, you know, and what everybody does? I tell you what we do. Come guys, brothers and sisters, let's hold hands. Let's close eyes and let's pray for the peace of God to surpass all understanding. Ah, Lord, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. You, that's what we do. No answers given. Oh, may the Lord lead you. How? Not everyone in that stage in life or in this stage of uh, the, the Christianity journey to, to be led by the Lord like that. Oh, but, you know, I heard the message in the church. The message was so good. I think the message was for me. How do you know? Hmm? Uh, the other day, someone was saying, Okay, new babies. For those of who have no baby. Ba so, are you expecting a baby? So, you want a baby? So, is that message for you? Maybe you don't want a baby. So, is that message for you? Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, let's think about it. In, even in a practical way. So, yes. The lost revelation of the spiritual father. It's really the lost revelation. Many people don't, don't, don't understand the importance of having a spiritual father. All right. I like what the prophet Jerome uh, says in some parts of the book. He said, in one of the occasions, the Lord spoke to him about three types of prophets. Listen to this. This is, this is just amazing, guys. I'm just going to read a little bit here from his book. He said, The Lord spoke to me about three types of prophets. The first type are those who take you to the sea and say to you, There's plenty of fish. There's the sea. There's plenty of fish. That's the first type of prophet. The second type will take you to see and instruct you where the fish are so that you cast your net in the right place. So that's the second type. I repeat one more time. The second type <clears throat> will take you to the sea and instruct you where the fish are so that you can cast your net in the right place. How about the third type? The third type will take you to a specific location, to a specific fish with a specific coin in its mouth. Oh man! <laughs> and Prophet already wrote here Matthew 17, verse 24 to 27. And he says, The Spirit of the Lord was ministering to me that I was about to meet the third type of prophet my goodness did you get this one more time I, I just this is just too good this is awesome so the Lord he said spoke to me about three types of prophets the first type are those who take you to the sea and say hey there's plenty of fish great second type will take you to the sea and instruct you instruct you there is an instruction where the fish are so that you can Cast your net in the right place. The third type, they will take you to a specific location, to a specific fish with a specific coin in the fish's mouth. You remember the Jesus story and Peter to pay the tax? I tell you, so amazing. Now, that's what a spiritual father can do for you and me. I mean, I remember like yesterday when, when we were very close to our spiritual father back then, right, to our pastor and the major decisions of life, we always uh, go through with him. Like, shall we buy the property? Shall we sell the property? Shall we keep it? Shall we rent it? Right? Because sometimes, let's be, let's be transparent about this. When we, as humans, face certain challenges and problems, we become very emotional. 
He said, oh, but you, you are a Christian. Uh, you don't trust emotion. Wait until the problem hits you, then you see what do you trust. It's easier said than done. But that's when the spiritual father comes in with the very clear instructions, with very clear guidance. And that's how we grow to the next level with Christ. And it's all biblical. And it's all biblical. How Apostle Paul was a spiritual father to Timothy and the rest of the churches. Right. It's, it's very, very biblical. And you have to receive it as a revelation to you. That's why very rightly, Prophet Jerome calls it the lost revelation of the spiritual father. Okay? So, if you feel that there is something missing in your uh, Christian walk with the Lord, for me recently, I felt it very strongly. Yes, we are partners with a couple of ministries, successful ministries, amazing generals of God. But then I still felt that that vacuum inside of me that, hey, I really need a spiritual father. I really need a spiritual father. Why? For me to go to the, to the, to the next level of growth in Christ. So if you have a chance, I'm going to put the links probably somewhere at the comments down there at the video and uh, get hold of this book. Get hold of this book, The Lost Revelation of the spiritual father it will open up your spiritual eyes for you to know the importance of having a spiritual father but choose choose really really a good one choose a good one all right go into this aspect of your christianity because trust me it's going to be a blessing to you like it was a blessing to us all right we follow our first spiritual father for seven years Wherever he was, whether he was in Kuala Lumpur, we went to Jakarta, in uh, Malaysia, Sarawak, everywhere. All right. We just followed the teachings. We followed the revelations. We believed when the prophecy was spoken. We believed by faith when the word was spoken. And our life was totally transformed. Totally transformed. So if you're really, if you really, really are serious about transformation, going to the next level, read this book the lost revelation of the spiritual father by prophet jerome fernando this is faiket luari speaking from uncensored truth channel i hope you've been blessed god bless you by the way in case you do not know jesus let me tell you there is this deception going around the world that people feel that oh if i do good i'm a good person if i do good god will be good to me and all that that does not apply to Christianity, to be honest, because the first criteria for Christianity is what? Everybody needs a savior. The Bible says that the righteous of men, I, I'm going to put it very bluntly, the righteous of men is like, is like the, the period cloth of a, of a woman during period. That's how God compares a man who thinks he is self-righteous. God compares it with a woman in period and her cloth. Okay, that's how good at our human righteousness. But guess what, guys? When Jesus becomes your Lord and Savior, righteousness is a gift to you. It's a positioning. Just like when my son was here a couple of minutes ago, my son Favor. You see, it's a positioning. He is my son. Whether he's a good boy, whether he's a bad boy, whether he rebels, whether he whatever it is, it does not change the fact that he is my son. Whether good or bad, with God is the same. So, you want to be in the family of God, then you need a savior. And that savior is Jesus Christ. So if you don't mind, just say this prayer from your heart. Say, Father God. Just repeat after me. Say, Father God. I come to you right now. I surrender my life to you. I just cannot do it alone. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord 
and my savior in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me of all my sins. I come to you the way I am. I give my life to you right now. And I pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. My friend, just a decision like that, just a prayer like that, and you are saved. You belong to the family of God. Okay? As simple as that, seriously. God loves you. He cares for you. Now you belong to the kingdom of the light, the kingdom of God. And Jesus is your Lord. Amen. So thank you very much for watching. If you are blessed by this video, uh, like it, share it, click the bell button to get the latest videos, updates and all that. So guys, see you and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.